talking about sheep and angels and the story of Jesus all today. Come on, join me in watching Emmy Kids Church. Let's go. Come on. story today. It's one of the best stories I feel like ever. So many different people and things that happen in the story, but one of the greatest ones I feel is when the angel appears to the shepherds. Yeah. yeah like the sky opens up and the big bright light comes down and there's this angel. And do you remember what the angel said? Yeah, the angel told the good news to the shepherd, the good news that Jesus was born. Yes. And that, the angel gave him a lot of peace. A lot of peace. So I think it'd be fun if we made our own angels and then we could put them around and just look at them and like think of peace when we see our, the angels. Yeah, okay, okay. So we're gonna need some spoons and some aluminum foil and some markers too. Decorate. We should let the kids go get that really quick so they yep. can do this with us. Yep. Okay, 10 seconds. Go. Go. Okay. And we're back. All right. So we're going to do some like not that much to foil and get creative with this. Like you can make, we're going to make these the, the angel wings. So I'm going to make mine my own way. Your own way? I'm just going to like kind of put them like that. Yeah. Maybe like Oops, mine looks like a bow tie. It does look like a bow tie. But you gotta get it on your spoon. Do you have tape? We had tape earlier. Miss Jen! Do you have tape? 
Yeah, let me see if I can find it for you guys. I think it's here. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Here you go. What is this? We're making angels. Angels? Mm hmm. That looks fun. It's oh, big. that's like our Bible story. Yep, that's why we're making it. Yeah. Fun. Yep. Well, remind us of the peace that they brought to the shepherds. Yeah. yeah. Wow. All right. I can't wait to see them when they're done. Okay. See ya. All right. Bye. bye. Look at mine. Can I have a pink marker, please? Pink. Start over. Then I'm gonna draw a face on my angel. Probably a happy face because they brought good news. Okay. Right? Yep. And what's super cool is, in just a second, these kids get to watch the story too. Yeah. Mine's gonna be a boy angel. That'll remind me that when I look at this angel, I can think of the Christmas story and all the peace that it brought and the peace that this world has because Jesus is alive. Woohoo! Woo! So, you make these, send us in a picture. I'd love to see them. Let's go over our bottom line. One, two, three. God's, God's peace is for everyone. everyone. Let's go show Miss Jen. Yeah, come on. Miss Jen! Oh, oh, hey look, I'm MC Hawkins and this year is my beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. Give him a sample, Seamus. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, oh, Seamus is showing us that it's Christmas time. And this month's life app is Christmas. Celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And you know... The Haggis and McFamous clans are having a Christmas get together for the first time ever! Can you believe that, Shame? Is yeah! that? <laughs> oh, that's right, Hag. It's gonna be great because both clans have the same Christmas traditions. For instance, decorations. Yeah, always gonna go get those decorations. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, yeah. If they're anything like mine, they're gorgeous. Yeah. And wonderful. There, there, there. What, 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 what is this? Aye. No, 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 no! Those aren't decorations. That's just clutter. There, look. This is the Haggis Clan Christmas decorations. Ooh. Huh? Look at that. Doesn't that? Just right here. Look. Put the candy cane right here on the, on the tree. Look at that. Doesn't that just fill you with Christmas spirit? Hey. No, what do, you, what do you mean, no? This is all you need. Aye. No, you don't need any of that. Christmas is about those things that Aye. are just simple. Aye. No, that's not simple, Aye. that's a Aye. lot of... Aye. No, no, you don't have long... Aye. All right. Then what about Christmas food? What you got? Aye. <laughs> see, see, now that's just excessive, all right? Here is the Haggis Clan's Christmas dinner. Ooh, corn dogs and tater tots. You can't be serious about all that slop. I wouldn't even feed that to my pigs. Turn that away. This is, no, this is traditional foods. No way, I wouldn't even feed that to the sheep. No, no, the sheep. No, you're ridiculous. Gillis, did you just throw a carrot at me? Hey, a tater for a carrot. Oh yeah? No, I don't even know what. No, 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 Seamus, don't you dare! You do that and corn dog. Ah, corn dog! No! Ah, no! What are you doing? No! Get out of here! Oh, no, 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 no! All right, all right, all right, all right. Enough of this. What? This is ridiculous. First of all, you had way more ammunition than I did. Hey. Yeah. <gasps> Note to self, next year get food that sticks. Hey, look at that. Ugh. Second, this has nothing to do with what Christmas is all about. Do you know what Christmas is all about? I'll tell you what Christmas is all about. Lights, please. Kick it, Seamus. God loves us so he sent his son, Jesus, who is the Holy One. He came to earth to set us free. That's more important than a goofy tree. Word.
That's what Christmas is all about, Seamus. Aye. It's not such a bad little tree after all. Maybe it just needs a little love. Hmm? My Christmas corn dog. That's good. So today's story, our Bible story, we're going to get to watch in just a second, but I just got to just set the scene. There are shepherds watching sheep. There's angels that's going to visit the shepherds watching the sheep. We're going to see this, this whole story of baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph, where Jesus was born. Does anyone remember that story from a long time ago, where Jesus was born? We're going to watch that. And I can't wait to talk to you more about it soon. Okay, come on, do it with me. Lights, camera, action. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. When Jesus was born, there were shepherds living near Bethlehem. These men and boys lived outside, keeping the sheep safe from wind and storms and protecting them from wild animals. These shepherds were among the least important people you'd meet, living outside and preparing their lentil stew over a campfire. You, uh, you put enough salt in there? Uh, I'll, I'll add more. Now, we don't know how many shepherds were in the fields when Jesus was born, and we certainly don't know their names, but we'll call two of them Cyrus and Zach. Don't you ever get bored? I'm bored. Mm, time moves slower than a snail with a limp out here. You get used to it, youngin. I'm hungry. Yeah, just you keep stirring that stew. It'll be ready soon enough. Being a shepherd was simple enough. Keep your eyes open. For what? Number one, wolves. Number two, thorny brambles. Number three, ditches and ravines. That's it? That's it. I'm still bored. At that very moment, the shepherds were nearly blinded by a brilliant light. Mutton and mashed turnips. What is that? A brilliant angel appeared, towering before the shepherds. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. The shepherds gaped, unable to say a word. It seemed impossible that an angel would appear to lowly men like them. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Here is how you will know I am telling you the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. The shepherds were just beginning to get their breath back when suddenly it seemed like all of heaven opened up. A full angel choir appeared, filling the sky. May glory be given to God in the highest heaven. And may peace be given to those he is pleased with on earth. Then, just as quickly as they had appeared, the angels returned to heaven. The sky dimmed. Stars twinkled faintly once more. The shepherds stood staring at each other, their mouths hanging open. Huh. Are you bored now, youngin? No. Well, then let's do this. Uh, we could just go to Bethlehem? Leave the sheep? Number one, let's see this thing that's happened. Number two, especially since the Lord saw fit to tell us about it. Number three, Get moving. Yippee! The shepherds hurried to Bethlehem, not stopping for rest until they saw a light glowing on the edge of town. There. Breathless, the shepherds knocked on the door. 
A woman opened it. She looked tired, but her face was glowing. Ma'am, um, <clears throat> we've come to see the baby. The baby? You know? The angels told us. Come right in. I want to hear the whole story. Once inside, the shepherds were greeted with a familiar sight. Sheep, chickens, hay, and something less familiar. A tiny baby, tightly wrapped in strips of cloth, lying in the animal's feeding trough. He's so little. Would you like to hold him? The rough shepherds took turns holding the baby, gently as a lamb. The Messiah, the Lord. Right here, with us. When the shepherds finally left, dawn was breaking over the hills. The little town of Bethlehem was waking up. Praise God. <laughs> he sent a savior, a Messiah. Just a tiny baby now, but he's gonna make peace for all of us, everywhere. Everyone who heard what the shepherds said was amazed, and Mary kept everything that had happened in her heart to think about over and over. Whoa, angels were everywhere. Angels told the good news of a savior being born to shepherds, shepherds that were way on the other side of town, outside of town, who were kind of like outcasts. And God chose to tell the good news to them. And you know why? Because I don't know if you know it, but our bottom line today, God's peace is for everyone. You know what the peace is? The peace of their Savior, Jesus. Our Savior, Jesus, the Messiah. He's going to bring peace. And when we trust Jesus to be our Savior, we will have peace. It's promised. That's what the good news is. All right, did you like the story? If you wanna read the story with your family, you can find it in Luke chapter two, verse eight, all the way down. It's a really good story. Maybe you can read it by the Christmas tree. Maybe you can make some angels. And maybe, I don't know, maybe you even have a Shooky like I do. And you can read the story with Shooky, who knows? All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. This month's memory verse. Today in the town of David, in the town of David, a savior is born. A savior is born. He is the Messiah, the Lord. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Luke 2, 11. Luke, Luke 2, 11. 11. Welcome back. That was such a cool story we heard. I think one of my favorite parts though was the shepherds in the field. Do you know how hard it might have been for them to try to like keep all of those sheep together? Mm -hmm. Like especially at night. There's a lot of them. Yeah. So, but I think I have a fun game that we could play and we're going to like get our sheep to our, keep them in our pastures. So like, is that why you gave me these spoons? Yes. Okay. We're going to take the spoons and our little sheep, they're so cute. And this is my uh, sheep dog, doggy, G-O-G. All right, ready? And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna like fling them into the field and see how many we can get in your own pasture. This one's <laughs> mine, that one's yours. Oh, okay. All right. So I get points for every sheep I get in my pasture? Yes. And but, is there like a time limit? Yes, I was just gonna ask, can I get the timer set please? For one, one minute. minute. One All minute. Right. Ready, set, go. Like 27 or something? Yeah, you actually did win. I just added some after the game was over. Okay, well, I win. Hmm. Fine, I'll get you next time. Bye. Bye. Well, my friends, I had a great time with you today at Kids Church. 
All of my friends did. <laughs> did you make the little spoon angel like the ladies did earlier? That was cool, right? Maybe you'll play the sheep game, getting them back in the corral. All right, well, we talked about peace and we the peace that God gives us is a promise. It's a promise of peace and Jesus is that promise. Put your trust in Jesus today. Trust that he has giving you the peace in your life, even when everything is just out of control or it seems that it's chaos all around, you've got the peace in your heart and that's what you can truly focus on. We want you to know that here at MV Kids, we were praying for you and we care about you and we believe that Jesus loves you so much that you can have that peace inside your heart no matter what. All right, so our Bible story came from Luke chapter 2. Our memory verse was from Luke chapter 2 verse 11. And the bottom line is God's peace is for everyone. And that means you. We'll see you next time. Merry Christmas.